Hello, Paul Gabriel here for another Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us, how can I keep my UVs after completing a merge visible? So what I have here is just the demo head. He's made up of two subtools. So let's take a look at what the UVs for each subtool look like. So I'm going to go down to our UV map subpalette, and I'm just going to click on this morph UVs. I'm going to put solo mode on so we're only looking at just the head. And so you can see what the UVs of the head look like. So there's our UVs of the head. So we'll morph UV back to the 3D model. And then I'm going to hit the down arrow key to select the subtool below the head, which is the eyes and the teeth. We'll morph UV that. You can see the UVs we have on those. So we'll put that back to the 3D mode. I'm going to turn off my solo mode so that we're looking at both subtools. And now what we want to do is merge both subtools, make them one tool, but then keep all of our UVs together. So all I'm going to do is in the subtool subpalette, I'm going to go to the merge menu right here. And right here you'll see a weld and a UV. I'm going to turn on the UV and I'm going to turn off the weld. The weld's for merging vertex points together when you merge. I'm now going to hit the merge visible with the UV option on. You're going to see that a new tool is completed. We're going to click on that. You can see we have our polygroups. And now let's take a look at our UVs. And you can see after merging both subtools, we still have all of our UVs. And that's how you can merge and keep your UVs. Please continue to send in your Twitter questions to hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you and happy ZBrushing.